Good morning, welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel. This here is a fantastic red Ford EcoSport Active X Pack featuring a 1 litre EcoBoost engine that's going to provide 125 PS of power. That 125 PS of power is then transmitted through a 6 speed manual gearbox. We are registered on a 22 registration, so we're going to have Ford warranty until July 2025. The vehicle has only done 2,800 miles, so it's incredibly low mileage. And being an active X-Pack, we've got some fantastic specification to talk about this morning. Okay, so like always, let's start at the front of the vehicle, where we've got some beautiful LED daytime running lamps at the bottom perimeter of the lamp there. They might appear to be flashing in your video. That is simply because of the frequency that the video is recorded at. Coming around the front now, we've got front fog lights and we've got this lovely Ford EcoSport front grille. I must say as well, this fantastic red isn't an everyday colour and I've fallen in love with it. I've been, just been doing the photographs and it looks beautiful. I really am a fan of this red. Let me just get a little closer up in there. It's not a race red, it's not a ruby red. Somewhere in the middle, but that looks glorious. Okay, if we the pan downwards now, we have some lovely 17 inch machine cut alloy wheels. We've got the nice shiny face at the front, twinned with a gloss black and the silver brake calipers. It really does look lovely. And these are fitted with Pirelli tyres from manufacturer. And again, they've only done 2,800 miles, so you can see just how much tread are left on those. Yeah, thousands and thousands of happy motoring miles. Got some nice active badging on the front wing there. And we're making our way down the vehicle. But before we progress any further, another bit of specification. Let me just lock the vehicle like so. And then we can talk about keyless entry. So if I was to tap behind the door handle like so, we're going to unlock the vehicle. Tap on these four lines, or three lines on this one. Different number of lines on every vehicle. Three lines on the Eco Sport. It then locks the vehicle. So as long as you've got the key in close proximity, such as your pocket, handbag, something like that, you can gain access to the vehicle. And we've also got a nice stop-start button in there as well uh, that you can start the vehicle from. So there's no scrambling around for your keys or anything like that. Nice and convenient. Unfortunately, it's quite a miserable day here in Perkins, so uh, there's not much sunshine to give you reflections on. But I shall try my best and work, work away from the bottom, slowly up the top, trying to give you some nice acute angles. But as you can see, it's absolutely immaculate. I'm a big fan of these wheels as well. They really do look very nice and sporty. And obviously because it is the X, uh, the active, sorry, you can have a slightly raised ride height as well. So ready for all the rough roads. Around the, rear of the around the rear of the vehicle even, can't get my words out in the right order. Rear parking sensors and a rear vision camera up there as well. So it's uh, all ready for all reversing requirements. There we are, go to the near side of the vehicle now. Once again, we'll get some nice angles on the bodywork there. That looks amazing. All the wheels, you must add, are all in immaculate condition. I've gone round them all and they're all lovely. So there we are, four wheels, there's the bodywork as well. Um, yeah, a very nice vehicle. And you've got a nice black roof as well. It aids with that two-tone effect. So the red in contrast with the privacy glass and the black roof and the black wheels. It all adds up to look really aesthetically pleasing. Probably one of the fa my favourite colours I've seen in the EcoSport actually. There we are. Okay, so one of the main points of the EcoSport is the tailgate. It doesn't open vertically like you would come to expect. It's a horizontal opening tailgate. So my, my girlfriend actually has one of these vehicles and this is her favourite point of the car. The tailgate opens like this. Um, it's a lot easier in, when you come into shopping centres and things like that. You can just open it up. So she goes front in and she really likes the design. Um, so yeah, that's a bit about the tailgate. It opens differently. Underneath the cover here, if I can lift it up, we have a tie sealant kit as well. So you're always going to be going in the right direction. And quite a large volume boot for the size of vehicle. It is quite dark in there, unfortunately. If I lift this cover up, it might give us a little bit more light. But a surprisingly large volume rear boot in there as well. Okay, let's shut up the boot. Like so, and let's have a look inside the rear. Obviously I've locked the vehicle, so what would help is unlocking the vehicle. Okay, don't laugh. There we are. So now we're inside the rear. 
electric windows like so nice little cubby holes for a drink or change two ISO fixing seats so the the left hand rear and the right hand rear are both ISO fixing configurations so you can clip in the baby seats beautiful leather interior black leather with some light blue greyish stitching really does look lovely nice and durable hard wearing ready for all of life's eventualities obviously if you did require a bit more boot space you can obviously fold down the seats as well we have a multi height floor adjustment so you can raise the floor up to meet the seats it's a lovely little okay so that's the rear of the vehicle let's have a look at all the goodies in the front so this vehicle honestly has an amazing sound system it's got the top of the range B&O sound system it's going to give you 360 sound so littered all over the vehicle is your B&O speakers so it's a it really is a top quality sound system as I said I was just doing my photographs of this vehicle a second ago turn on the radio really really impressed so if you're into your music this is a musically pleasing vehicle so I'll just show you a bit of the driver's seats you've got the active badging on the lever there embroidered in again defined by this beautiful blue grey stitching it really does look the part so if you come down now and show you the definition of the base part and the lower back like so manually adjustable seats so we've got some lumbar support there we've got height adjustment a rear tilt and a forward and backwards as well okay let's jump in entry vehicle so what that means is we've got a keyless go button as well so pop your foot on the brake and we can just start up i'm oh, sorry foot on the clutch because it's a manual vehicle the light goes green and we can turn on the vehicle i don't know why i thought it was an automatic then anyway so now we have power to the vehicle we can talk you through the dashboard this is your driver display rpm gauge to the left hand side and a speedo to the right at the bottom we have a coolant temperature sensor and a fuel gauge let's just and i've not got my seat belt on so this is a little dry digital driver monitor in the middle you can siphon between different phone settings or chip computers so there we are it's averaging 39 mpg over the last 2800 miles so very good mpg i'm sure if you're uh, gentle with your right foot you get even more than that digital speed over required and we've got the driver assistance pack so in there we've got things such as pre-collision assist traffic sign recognition hill start assist we've got a speed limiter and we're also going to have a rear park pilot also okay so that's a little bit about that i'm controlling this menu we have the arrows on the left hand side of the steering wheel you also have a return button and a menu button there as well on the right hand side of the steering wheel is media controls such as volume rocker uh, pickup and decline and forward and previous song in the middle is the voice recognition button that links me up lovely do, 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 do. to the sync modules this is a sync 3.4 you've got the latest software it's the dark blue band at the bottom audio phone navigation apps and settings it's nice and easy to navigate yourself around the screen's also responsible for your rear reversing camera so these are coming through really high quality reversing cameras now you've got your rear parking sensors as well which is your park pilot so they'll give you a proximity beep as you get closer to an object that's so really handy so take that off make sure i'm in neutral wonderful so that's the screen let's just show you a bit of the navigation whilst we're here load it up we're going to accept the license tap the search oh i think i double clicked it there so charlie mike 776 sierra alpha nice and easy to plumb in navigation so if you wanted to come look at this eco sport at perkins pop that in your sat nav you'll be here in no time at all so it's nice and easy and you can also get the directions from that appeared on the screen there so it's a nice user-friendly system so being the bno sound system we have a, a sound setting screen so you can adjust all your tone settings you know you can uh, balance and fader adaptive volume it's all there so if you're into your music we have a fantastic sound system on this vehicle further south of the screen we have all your heating ventilation and air conditioning controls nice and simple system to use fan speed to the left hand side temperature to the right in the middle we've got different flow events misting settings there automatic air conditioning front screen recirculation and your air conditioning on the right hand side so nice and easy to come to terms with 
Just below that, a USB-C, so that's the new fast charging, so when you buy your new phone, it will come with a USB-C, because that is now the fastest way of charging. I believe it's five amps, five amp charging, but opposed to the USB-A, which is about two amps, so, you know, it's a nice fast charging system. Also down there is a 12 volt socket, so you're gonna be nicely charged up on those longer journeys. I mentioned earlier, six speed manual gearbox, not really much to say about that. Beautifully balanced with nice and large shifter. Flies through the box, lovely. Okay, manual handbrake, little cubby hole there to keep your drinks stowed away. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did have any questions, anything you're not sure on, or anything I haven't covered, please do give one of the sales team a call on 01376 550 899. We look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye bye for now.